<laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Meza and this is another super quick satisfactory tutorial and today we're going to start talking about cable management and how to not end up looking with spaghetti like this. So before we get started, let me tell you the number one rule that you need to follow if you want to make your power distribution look good. Don't use a power pole for multiple machines because then you'll end up with a mess on your hands. Don't be lazy, don't be cheap, take the time, take the material and you won't regret it. Before update 3 was released, the only way to take power from A to B was by using power lines distributed like so. If you have a lot of walls in your factory, with update 3 we got wall outlets which make for a much better alternative to power poles. But this is not what you're here for, let me show you some advanced ways of cable management. Little known fact, wall outlets clip to fences. You can make the wall outlets go parallel with the rails if you put down another rail perpendicular to the line that you want to work with and then you snap the wall outlet onto that one and then you can just remove this. Let's do it over here for example. Let's put a double wall outlet on it and now we can connect up that with this and you can have a power line going along a corridor for example if you need it be. How do you transition from a fence to a power pole? Very easy, just remove the fences, remove the wall outlets, place down a power pole of your choosing right there in the center, then you can put the fences back because if you do it the other way around, the power pole would not clip into the fences but the fences do clip into the power pole. Then you place down a double wall outlet as we've learned previously, like so. And then you can hook up the wall outlets and then you hook up the wall outlet with the power pole and if you do it on both sides it would actually look symmetric and it looks pretty cool and then you can do whatever you want with this power pole. My personal recommendation would be building a service level underneath your floor and running all your cables there. There's another little known fact that the fences actually stack. You can place a fence on a fence like so and then just like previously you can actually put wall outlets on it like so and boom you're not running into cables you're not running into fences you're not running into anything and it kind of looks cool doesn't it how do you take cables between floors now this method I really like because if you follow what we just learned previously Put down a perpendicular one, put an outlet on it right there, take this away, you hook this up with power lines like so, you take this off from above there, you put another fence over there, repeat the whole process and bada bing bada boom, you have a cable going through the floor and this is how it looks from above. If you don't want to have fences here, what you could do is start placing down frame foundations, like so. You grab yourself a single window, put it up there for example. You grab yourself a wall outlet on the side and then there's two things you can do. You could hook it up from here to there and it would still look great. Or you could remove this all together and just hook it straight up to there. Whether you're happy with this or not, that's a different question, but then again, it's up to you how you build. If you want to run high wires, put in a double wall outlet, hook it up with a power line, you can string together frame foundations and then you can put in windows wherever you need it with double connectors up there. And there you have it. You have a gantry that is taking power across your machines. Hey, if you've learned something new today, make sure to hit the like button to let YouTube and me know that you enjoy this content. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Also, there's much more on the Twitch channel. I stream Satisfactory four times a week. If you're interested in what happens on Twitch, here's a base store video. And if you want to see more Satisfactory content, then you can do it with this playlist. Until next time, my name was Meza, and I'll see you around.